All right, we got the, the uh, stand to stay propane done on the RV, so we're ready for winter. And uh, now we're going to move the washer and dryer. So we've got our dryer here on top, our washer on the bottom. Got the connections right behind here on this wall. And right on the other side of the wall is basically the utility room, the new utility room. So let's go over there and take a look. So now we're, we're just moving them temporarily. We're not putting them in the space they're gonna be. So if we get in to the uh, mudroom here, utility room, you can see a spot there she's marked in the four corner where the washer and dryer are gonna be upright, stacked just like they are all over there. But instead, you can see the dryer connection right here. Um, we are going to just bring them in here, connect the dryer to that uh, vent right there, and I'm gonna drill a hole in the wall and just put the outlet the plug through and connect to the outlets on the other side. Same thing for the water lines. We'll just go through to the other side and connect to the water lines. So that's what we're going to do. That's the next project. So oh, sorry. We'll watch the Yeah, we're wrapping up the first day of week five and uh, two projects that I wanted to get done today and the breaks that I had was uh, getting the propane, the extended propane on the RV all set up. So when it gets colder here in the next few weeks, we don't have to worry about running out of propane. That's all done and uh, get the washer and dryer moved. So really cool here, uh, was really easy. This is the temporarily, as I said, but this will get us by and allow us to completely demo um, the other side over there. We still got to take this wall off, so we'll have to disconnect these to open this wall up, but at least we've got it set in place. It's pretty nice, we just used a hole for the vent. We ran everything back through over there so I didn't have to run any new lines or anything like that. Just had to go get a new vent and I'll eventually have to cap off those water lines back there um, just so they don't break when we're doing some more of the demolition here, taking the floor up and stuff. So, good progress on uh, day one of week five.
build a work work table to I have a work table to work on. How silly is that? Sugar. So it's Thursday in uh, week five here, and uh, it's the last work day for me because I'm taking a uh, three day weekend. So got to do a little bit of work today in the afternoon, but I've got some time this morning to do some things around the uh, home here. Uh, one of the things that I'm going to do later today is go get all the stuff for uh, the electrical work that we're going to do this weekend. We're going to run an electric line under the house uh, to this side of the house from the panel on the other side of the house for the 50 amps for the RV so that we can run more than one heater because it's starting to get a little bit uh, chilly in there. And the other things we've been working on um, this week that will continue through the weekend are Chris has got some projects going on. She's got... Uh, a simple little desk that she was doing for me that's gonna be really cool that uh, she's got about halfway finished in my office. You, what do you gotta do that? Just put a clear coat on it and that's all? I've gotta put the, I've gotta sand it, but the uh, <clears throat> epoxy has to set, um, has to cure for 72 hours. So then I've gotta Three sand days. it. I'll do it tomorrow, that should be enough since it's not the whole thing. Right. Um, sand it and then put the poly on it and then it'll be, Good to go. All right, so I should have a desk to be able to temporarily set up my office before we finish it, just get get uh, stuff out of the RV so we can have a little bit more space. Uh, and then she's also working on a pretty cool unit um, that so that uh, we're gonna have in here. <laughs> well done, good timing. So she's working on a pretty cool unit that uh, she's gonna. Uh, have in here that's basically going to replace that workbench for the most part. So uh, we'll give you an idea of what station. that's going to look like as we. What's it called? It's a miter saw station. A miter saw two. station. Here. Oh, she's going to show us a picture. Miter saw station with two movable workbenches. And you got that from Anna, Anna White. White? Yep, there it is. Anna White. She watches a lot of Anna White's YouTube stuff. She's uh, very handy and creative, so that's what she's working on. So we'll uh, give you a glimpse of that and how that turns out. Uh, I'll be helping her out a little bit today um, for the next hour before I gotta go back to work, uh, taking some of the pegboard off the wall possibly and removing um, this workbench. So we wanna try to remove the bench to um, not only get the crappy uh, wall coverings off, and as you can see that over there, pretty much everywhere we break into in the walls or in the ceiling, there is mouse droppings and such. So we want to get all that cleaned up out of there. And then um, also this uh, bench, we're going to try to reuse some of these two by sixes. Two by fours. Oh yeah, we'll use them. Two, two by, by sixes three. and two by fours for yeah. different projects. So we're going to see if we can get it apart relatively all in, 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 in yeah. salvageable pieces, salvageable okay. pieces. So that's the plan uh, for today.
All right, it appears she's tore into the walls. Let's go check on progress. That is so cool. You got your station done? Huh? You got your station done? Except for one station. Well, do you see both sides? Not yet. Look at all the tools it holds. That is pretty impressive. And then the other side. Yeah, you got tools on this side. It has tools and I put a bar to hold my clamps. Oh, that's really cool. And so you're going to have two of those. Two of those. That roll in underneath one, your miter station. Underneath yes, your one, workbench. the table saw will be in there, but it will be sunk down. So then um, it fits underneath the, the miter station. Which we're going to well. put here where we took out the... Right here where this mess is. Where we took out the workbench. Yeah. And you also tore into some of the walls and... Uh, We've got some termite issues. We've got some termite issues, so... Uh, yeah. Good thing that we're tearing these uh, walls out because we're finding some stuff that uh, we're going to have to deal with, so... Yep. Are you keeping any of the pegboard? Uh, if this one comes down fine, then I will... Put keep it back it. up gonna, when we put it back up. I'm yeah. going to paint it, but I've also got my Seahawk one, too, so... Yeah. Um, whichever ones... Right now, I'm just doing this section because this is where the bench is going. Where you're doing the miter? miter. The miter bit. So is that how long it's gonna be? It's 129 and a half inches. So it's about from here. Um, 10 feet. Yeah, and then there's some room there so I can have like a bucket with scraps yeah. and such. Yeah, that'll make it easier to get the electric and all that. Yes, and don't have the... then I'm going to do this side over here to about uh, wherever this is going to end. With a workbench? No. With pegboard? Just get this down, get oh, it okay. cleaned because, so we can get everything from storage here. Okay. I just want to get this done and all the mess out of the way before we bring everything in. Yep. And then are you going to sand that and paint it and stuff? Then? Yes. Yep. Right now it's, the, the paint is a Home Depot paint, the one that I want, the color. Did you finish your shape? Not yet, not all the way. <laughs> um, go ahead. I'm no, that's right. Really, really. All right, I'm water thirsty. Where did my water go? All right, I got one more call. Okay. Anyway, so I'm going to check this out. I'm so happy with myself. Pretty so awesome. The handles. I put handles here. Yep. And then it just goes underneath the station there and then you grab the handles and pull it out cool. so it hides on but you should whenever i do put this video online we should link to anna's yes. directions so we'll put the um, plans in there because anna shares them for free for free so if you want to build a workstation like this and you can see the entire project at her website but how this also works is that you cut this you put a um, bracket here and like i can attach my Craig jig, yeah. secure it here, and then take it and flip it over so then I have a clean workstation and not the Craig jig in the middle. And then you have another shelf for like some other mountable tool, like if you had, oh, a, if you had like a grinder, yeah. you would mount it on that. And then just take it and set it up there. It here, use it, and then just slide it back in and out of the way. Cool. But the Craig jig will go here on this side when I cut it out but right now I'm not doing that because I just want to get this done awesome so all right I'm gonna go back to the rest of my day what did I just do okay love you, love you.